Hello everybody. In the previous sessions, we were seeing the concept of verified boot. What is the importance of it? Why it was implemented? What is rollback protection? And the concept of DM verity. Uh, today's session, we will continue to see what is this verified boot, how it works, and the concept of VB metadata. So, uh, how it exactly works? Bootloader starts by verifying VB metadata, which is nothing but it's a, a tiny signed operating system uh, containing metadata needed to verify the rest of the OS. Okay, so we know that uh, the Android device booting starts from the point of bootloader. So, bootloader is the one who will start verifying if we are flashing the correct operating system. Bootloader will take help of VB Meta. Okay, this VB Meta is nothing but it is a very, very tiny operating system partition which will contain the data required to verify the rest of the OS. So there should be someone who will tell us to verify, yes, this is correct, this is wrong, right? So that is done by VB Meta. And uh, the VB Meta uses RSA uh, 2048 SHA uh, 256 algorithms for the signature purposes. And as I already told, verified boot will also have an additional check of uh, rollback index. So this VB metadata structure will contain the rollback index information. Okay, so bootloader is the one who will first verify the VB Meta. VB Meta will tell us if we are trying to flash the correct OS or if some attacker is trying to corrupt the device by flashing the wrong operating system. So the VB metadata structure, it hash hashes needed to verify the other partitions. Okay, so this is the data structure. In the later part of this PPT, I will show you the uh, data structure, how it will look. So this data structure is the one who will verify the signatures with other partitions. Okay. So uh, once the bootloader is finished with verification, it will pass us the verified boot state and verified boot public key to the trusted environment, which will run the kernel from the boot image. Okay, so a bootloader will load the VB meta. VB meta is the one which will have a data structure. So in that particular data structure, it will have hash tree and it will check with the different partitions. Okay. Once VB Meta tell yes, this is a recognized OS and it is correct OS the user is trying to flash, the control will go to the kernel. The bootloader will pass the control to the kernel and kernel is responsible for using DM Verity to verify the rest of the OS via hash trees. Okay. So verified boot is the process of assuring the end user the integrity of the software running on the device. That's exactly what it is. It typically starts with a read-only portion of the device which loads the code and execute it cryptographically. Okay, so only the read-only portion, for example, bootloader. First, it will start with bootloader. It will uh, see if the cryptographic signatures algorithms are matching. And once it is matching and if when it doesn't have any security, flaws it will decide this code is authentic and it will continue to other partitions other partitions include dtbo partition system partition vendor partition user data recovery etc etc okay so first bootloader is the one which will be uh, checked when this partition is given a green tick other partitions will be checked now we will see how the small partitions and uh, as well as how the long partitions are checked. Okay, uh, So a small partition such as boot and DTBO are the read only and once they are typically verified by loading the entire contents into memory and calculating its hash. Since they are very very small uh, partitions boot and DTBO. Uh, what exactly happens the entire content of this partition the file information is loaded into memory they are loaded into memory and there we calculate the hash hash is nothing but uh, the address of the memory okay so after calculating is unique hash uh, then it is compared the unique 
hash whatever is calculated is compared with the expected hash value if the value doesn't match android won't load only when the hash values match android will load and it will continue to the other next partitions okay so this is about the small partitions small partitions the entire data is loaded into the memory and there we calculate the hash what happens with the large partitions so your uh, larger partitions will not fit into memory we know that so what we do uh, we will use a hash tree so in hash tree we will calculate only the a uh, hash value of the root node we know how a tree looks right a tree will have the root and it will have parents parents will have child nodes there is a uh, different levels of structures okay so root hash of the hash tree is calculated during run time and that is checked against the expected hash value if they match we continue otherwise error is thrown to the user so android will include the dm verity driver to verify larger partitions so in my previous tutorial i have already told dm verity is also used to match the hash value so uh, these partitions are stored in memory right for example system image this images are stored in memory the root the address of the root is the hash value and that is checked okay so when they match it proceeds further uh next we will see vb meta structure so i already told vb meta is a tiny operating system which will include the data to verify the rest of the different partitions okay so uh, this vb meta structure is nothing but a data structure used in android verified boot concept okay it is a central data structure of android verified boot so this is how it looks so here this vb meta will include the hash for boot and um, since boot is a smaller partition example of small partition it will directly include the hash value for the entire boot partition but system and vendor partition since they are large partitions what will happen it will include the hash tree metadata means the root of that particular hash tree for system and it will include the root information of the hash tree for vendor and it is signed by key 0 okay so uh, this is a data structure and um, it contains number of descriptors and other metadata and all of this is cryptographically signed every data which is containing in this structure vb meta structure is cryptographically signed and there are descriptors used for image hashes and image tree metadata so uh, because this vb uh, structure in vb metadata partition is cryptographically signed bootloader can check the signature and verify it was made by the owner for example here it will check for the signature key 0 and it will verify so like that only boot partition the data in the boot partition the data in the system vendor all that is contained here user data other partition so this is how the structure looks like so this structure is flexible enough to allow hash descriptors and hash tree descriptors uh, don't worry it it is just containing the hash tree descriptors hash tree descriptors is the address in the memory where these partitions will be present okay so this is again an, uh, another example if there are chained partition if a uh, phone manufacturer uh, defines to include his own partitions there will be chained partitions that time the bootloader how it will come to know a footer is added okay if there are multiple chained partition bootloader will verify your key one and uh, similarly a footer will be uh, added so bootloader will verify the header as well as the footer and then it will conclude yes this is correct so this is a uh, structure which includes the descriptors of different hash and hash tree okay uh yeah so that's all i had for today uh, we saw what is vb meta and we saw the structure how it looks what exactly contained in the structure and how the bootloader loads uh, the vb meta and how the uh, process continues okay so i hope this was informative and helpful uh, thank you everyone for watching i'll see y'all in my next tutorial until then everyone take care bye